I guarantee. Ooh wee. I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee. Now you know us Cajuns in South Louisiana, we cook all kinds of things. There ain't no question about that. Nutri and everything like that. Mush rat, alligator tail, anything in the world we cook. Welcome to Cajun in the City. I'm Cajun Ken. I'm bringing the Bayou back to the Big Apple. Today it's all things Justin Wilson. Pull up a chair. It's time to eat. Today's recipe, we're doing black eyed peas, southern smoked ham hocks with basic broccoli and rice, and one of my favorites, Justin Wilson's Chicken I Don't Know, right from this guy right here. For all of you who don't know who Justin Wilson is, he's the guy who used to be on TV many years ago down in New Orleans and even syndicated up here in the big old city. He was the old guy with the blue shirt on, the suspenders. He would cook up a storm in that old Cajun kitchen. And he would say, this is good stuff. I guarantee. Ooh-wee. Now that's Justin Wilson. You know, I miss the guy. He hasn't been on TV in years. But you know what? We're incorporating a lot of his recipes in what we're doing. I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee. And i tell you for sure, ladies and gentlemen, you never saw something like that before again in your life. Hmm. These people brought their recipes, secret recipes. They had not given to anybody, were not about to give anybody. One man came up there with a box, and I said, what you got on that? He said, my recipe. I said, what's in the box? He said, rattlesnake. He's going to look after that. <laughs> Justin always called himself a full-bleed Cajun. A lot of people say, I'm full-blooded Cajun, I'm full-blooded this. He had a little bit of fun with it. He called himself a full-bleed Cajun, and he also called himself a gourmand instead of a gourmet. He found humor in everything. He was also a, a Cajun, he was a Cajun humorist. He did a lot of uh, records. He did a lot of stand-up comedy and he incorporated that in his cooking. If it wasn't for Justin Wilson on Saturday mornings coming on right after cartoons when I was seven, eight years old, I may not be here today. He inspired me to get in the kitchen and start cooking especially turned me on to Cajun and Southern food the way he did. Justin Wilson, hats off to you because I owe it all to you and I'm proud to bring your recipes back on the show and that's what we're doing today is bringing back chicken I don't know plus many, many more. So you know what? Let's get started cooking that chicken I don't know, black eyed peas with smoked ham hocks and basic broccoli and rice. For Justin's chicken, I don't know, in basic broccoli and rice, we have broccoli, celery, chopped onion, Cajun seasoning, flour, chopped parsley, rice, bay leaf, cayenne pepper, fresh parsley, Parmesan cheese, chicken stock, garlic, soy sauce, witchy sour sauce, fresh ground pepper, kosher salt, bell pepper, and a whole fresh chicken. For my black eyed peas and southern smoked ham hocks, we have chicken stock, black eyed peas, onion, garlic, cayenne pepper, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, bay leaves, oil, ground pepper, kosher salt, bacon, southern smoked ham hocks, pork shoulder, White wine. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to cut these birds up, put them in a big old sack, add all those Cajun spices and love and fresh vegetables to it, pop it in the oven. Woo wee! When it comes out, you got some south in your mouth. So you know what? Let's get started cutting up these birds. No special way to do this here. Just like this. Now you're going to get dirty, you're going to get a little messy, but you know what? That's the way it is. Now Justin Wilson called this his 
chicken? I don't know. And the reason he said is because he couldn't think of a better reason not to call it that because he just didn't know what to call it. Okay. A little bit of a job there, right? All right, now we have our chickens all quartered, looking good there. Next up is our good old trusty bag. This is a turkey size roasting bag. And this is what he recommends. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these chickens in this bag and have a whole lot of fun. Now I'm gonna put this on them bag, spread the flour in the bottom so it won't be in one spot, no. Put this beautiful piece of meat, that is a pretty piece of meat too, on them bag. And then I'm gonna close the bag up after I get everything else in here. It's just barely gonna fit and it just does. Yeah. Putting all these spices, this is it. I've never in my life just sling off of here. Never in my life cooked a more easy and delicious chicken meal than Justin Wilson's chicken I don't know. Could call it Justin's chicken in a bag. But you know what? That's not what he called it. He called it chicken I don't know. So next up, let's add our flour. Oh, to the back here on the inside. I'm shaking this around just like this here on the inside of the bag. I want to coat the bag too. Can't pick a hole in it. All your juices and love will go out into the pan. You lose some of your flavor. So make sure you do that right. Next up, a little bit of ground pepper right in the bag. See, basically all these great ingredients that we're doing goes right in the bag. Look at that. We're making a big mess in this bag. Worcestershire sauce right in there like that. You can't go wrong with this right here. Now right here we got a very special little seasoning here. Justin Wilson also had his own blend of seasonings. One blend is here is the Full Bleed Creole seasoning. I was lucky enough to get some of this here and I'm gonna put some of that in it because I don't think he would have mind, not one bit. A couple of bay leaves, three bay leaves to be exact. Putting the Full Bleed, instead of kosher salt, I want to pay homage to Justin and put, use his own seasoning on his own little recipe. Just like that there. This chicken is coating quite well. I'm going to season this around. It looks like a mess, don't it? But trust me, when it's all done, man, you're going to remember chicken I don't know. I'm going to roast it in this bag. All of this flavor, all of this love. I always tell you that when you're cooking Southern and Cajun food, you got to have three main ingredients. Passion love and time. If you don't have those ingredients, take all this chicken, throw it in the garbage, go home because no one wants to eat your food. Because if you don't cook with passion, love and time, it won't be fitting to eat. Everybody thinks food should be fast. No, it shouldn't. Take your time and do it right. Okay, I got that season in there. Let's go ahead and add our, about one cup of bell pepper. We're going to add our bell pepper. Open this bag up. We can get everything in there. We're going to add our chopped parsley right in there like that. Ooh -wee. It's like a big old chicken salad. You saw that up in there like that. You're getting messy folks and that's just how it is. I don't need all of that there. Add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Not too much. Well, maybe. Maybe just a little bit more. Sprinkle that in there. Man. The Cajun salad going crazy. 
just like that there. A little bit of extra Cajun seasoning there, which I like. Next up, let's go ahead and do some fresh celery. I like to put that right on top here. We're going to cut right down the middle. Get that out of there now. I'm going to cut up about four ribs, maybe five, of fresh celery. Get this over there. All right. That over there. I'm going to cut them in large wedges here. These are mostly for flavor, but you can eat them. Leaves and all. Put it all in there like that right there. I love the little sprigs. They're really good. They're great for seasoning, especially in salads. Put in a lot of the leaves from the celery. I love me some celery. And as I'm talking about it, let's just okay. add it right in there like that. See there? Good stuff. Throw it all in there. What a, a mess I'm making of this chicken. But you know what? It won't be when it comes out of that oven. Next up, we're going to add a whole lot of onion. This is like a jambalaya gumbo in a bag <laughs> with a whole lot of chicken. All this onion goes right here. Like I said, no wrong way of adding all these wonderful ingredients. Look at that. Woo! A little bit more chopped celery on top there. Excellent. Okay, now to liquefy it, get it all good and going. We're going to add water right there in the bag. Boom. And as Justin always says, no meal is complete with a wine that you wouldn't drink. So let's go ahead and, whoa. Oh. Ah, good stuff. There we go, right there in it. A little bit of wine. Ooh wee. That's good. I always tell people, it's almost time to throw your pole in the water, run home, because it's about time to eat. I'm going to move all this around in this bag, making a mess. Get all this going. Mix it all up with your hands, just like this here. Chicken, I don't know, because that's exactly what it is. I don't think anyone's ever seen a recipe like this. And I'm not for sure if this has ever been done like this. Because this is some good, good stuff. Chicken, I don't know. You'll remember the name. You'll definitely remember the name. Excellent. It's looking good there. Hands are dirty. The oven's cranked up to about 325. We're going to... Tie a big old knot in this bag and poke some holes in it, throw it in the oven, and then come back and get ready for our black-eyed peas, smoked southern ham hocks, and our basic broccoli and rice. So let's go ahead and tie a big old knot in this, just like this here. Man, that's a lot of chicken. I just love saying it. Chicken, I don't know. It's like that. Getting messy in the kitchen. That's what we do. But you know what? It's worth it in the end. Now Justin always said after you do this, you want to poke 12 holes in the bag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. I think that's good. All right, got, got the pan oiled down. Got a little celery and stuff hanging out on the side there. Nothing wrong with that. This is all you do right here. This is it. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in the oven. Let's get this chicken I don't know cooking up just right. Woo wee, this is Southern. This is Cajun. This is good. Next up, black eyed peas, smoked Southern ham hocks, and basic broccoli and rice. Woo! It's hot in the kitchen, but I tell you what, we're about to get ready to start cooking up these 
black eyed peas and southern smoked ham hocks. What I have right here is a big old slab of pork roast. I'll say about a couple pounds I'm going to cut off of this bad boy here. I'm going to throw it over here in this pot. And man, we're going to cook this traditional southern meal up and show you how it's done. There's not one southern meal that I feel like that I don't know any better. And that is southern black eyed peas with ham hocks. That's these little bad boys right here. What is a ham hock? Well, I'm about to tell you. A ham hock is located on the pig's foot, right above the ankle. Right here, I believe so that's about right. Right above the ankle, it's part of the ankle. And you know, they slice them up there. They're mainly used for seasoning. But you know what, people can eat them. And actually this one here is smoked. It's cured, it's smoked, and if you want to eat a bite of it, just like that, right from the store, go right ahead. It's delicious. It's good. This is a true story. A few months ago, I cooked a big dinner for a whole lot of my friends, about 30, 40 people. I cooked a big old tray of black-eyed peas, southern smoked ham hocks. I had about four of these babies in it. It was a big old pot. About an hour goes by. I go back to stir up the black eyed peas. Holy smokes! Every ham hock was gone. And nobody there was from the south. So I'm wondering, what happened to all these ham hocks? Why would somebody steal all the ham hocks? They really went there wouldn't for eating, but you can't eat them. Later, somebody comes up and admits that they stole the ham hocks and she had them in her purse the whole time and she offered them back and she said they were so good I was embarrassed to actually ask you for them, so I just stuck in my purse because I didn't think anybody was going to miss them. I missed them, but you know what? That's a good thing. Southern ham hocks, delicious. I ate them right off the bone. But be careful, don't bite into one too hard because a buddy of mine chipped his tooth one time. That's a true story. Our pot's all seasoned up and heated up just good. Let's go ahead and test out this oil here. Make sure that we put just a little bit of oil there in the pan. Drop in some pork. Let's see what happens. It needs to be a little hotter. I like to hear it sizzle and I put it in there. It don't take long. While that's heating up, let me cut a couple little chunks off here. There we go. I think we're lo looking good there. I do need my wooden spoon. It's right here. Let me go ahead and stir this rice back here. Our rice is cooking back here quite well. Got two hands. Do four things. There we go. I'm putting the pork shoulder right in here. I'm about to add some seasoning to it, season it up, and sear it. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning to it. A bit of kosher salt there. What I want to do is I want to sear all four thick sides of the pork shoulder, pork chunks, I guess you can call it. I'm going to sear in the flavor, sear in the goodness, a little bit of pepper. Just like that there. A little more Cajun seasoning. I like to see Cajun seasoning on every piece of the pork shoulder that's going to go in here. That way I know it's got the right amount of flavor. Every time you bite into a piece of the pork shoulder and the southern black eyed peas and smoked ham hock, you need to get a bite of flavor. No bland meat should come out of your kitchen. Don't be scared to season up your food. Cajun food does not mean that it's hot. It can be spicy, it can be seasoned, it can be flavorful. Don't mean it's gotta be hot though. The only time that it's hot is when you put too much hot sauce or cayenne in something. I cook a lot of Cajun and Southern dishes without cayenne pepper. But it's Cajun, it's Southern, it's not too hot. That's up to you on how hot you want to get it. I tell people all the time, just because something says Cajun, you look at it and it's nothing but uh, hot sauce and cayenne pepper, that's not Cajun. That's stupid. Okay, looks like my pork shoulder is cooking up and searing up on all sides there. Next up, let's go ahead and 
crush up and cut up some of our garlic here. I got a few cloves of garlic. Smash up like this here. Let's cut these up. Throw that right into the pot here. There we go. Just like that. Woo! Tell you what, it's hot in the kitchen. But I don't mind it because I love cooking. And I love cooking these wonderful recipes. Next up, we're going to put a little bit of our bay leaf in here. Done with that. We're going to put a little powdered garlic in here too. I like powdered garlic to use as well, as well as fresh garlic. Ooh, it's hot. And I like it. Ooh. Next up, put a little bit more of our ground pepper. Then add a little bit of water. Always, of course, a little bit of wine. And before I take a good seal, always remember, and Justin Wilson taught me this, never cook with a wine you won't drink. Because if it ain't fit to drink, it ain't fit to cook with. Right in the pot, she goes there. Ooh wee, that's good stuff. That's cooking up a nice, nice broth there. There we go. That's it there. Cut this heat up a little bit more. Next up, we're going to add a little bit of our onion. I've cut up about a couple onions here. Onion makes things all good. Shrink it all in there. And then we're about to put in our good old ham hocks. Let that cook down. I'm going to put in just a little bit. Yeah, I'm raking it in there with a butcher knife. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Not much, as you can see. That's all I'm doing. Not much. It's basically all it needs. Woo. Hot in the kitchen, let me tell you. Don't mind telling you there. Next up, our chicken stock. It's about uh, two and a half cups of chicken stock. Let me go right in there like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a boil. We're going to add our black eyed peas, our ham hocks, a little bit of bacon. <laughs> yeah, bacon goes in there, of course. I got two nice ham hocks here. What I like to do is when you get your ham hocks already cooked like this, cook little, little cuts in it. It opens up all the flavor. That's what that does. Just like that there. One ham hock. I oh, mean, I can smell it. Mmm. Smells like home. Smells like the South. Smells good. Now let's go ahead and add our black eyed peas. These are, uh, I use canned black eyed peas for this because it's uh, easy and I want to keep it simple. When I really cook this at home, I like to get the dried peas and soak them overnight and a little bit of extra love. Look at that, almost perfect water level right there. And that's what you want. I'm gonna let that cook down. Those ham hocks are sticking out. You got your pork in there. Let's go ahead and add our raw bacon right into it because we're gonna bring this to a boil. And all this goodness and this bacon love is gonna come out in those beans. When you get a bite of this, you're going to say one thing. Throw your pole in the water and run home. Because it's time to eat. Next up, we're going to check on our chicken I don't know. We're going to check on the rice back here. Put the lid on this. And let this cook for about an hour and a half. When we come back, you're going to have some south in your mouth. Woo-wee! Last up of the recipe is our basic broccoli and rice dish. Very simple. Chicken stock, butter, a little bit of onion, broccoli of course, salt, pepper, and your favorite Cajun seasoning of course. 
So let's go ahead and cut up this broccoli. Got a few little broccoli spears here. Cut up just like this here. That's all I'm going to do. All I'm doing is cutting the ends off like this here. I'm going to throw these over here in this skillet. Just like that there. Instead of putting water in here like a lot of people would think they're going to boil peas in water, we use chicken stock. Chicken stock changes the flavor of everything. Nothing but delicious. Broccoli's simmering away over here. I'm going to cut a few more little spears off. Just like this here. That's enough, I believe. Next up, our chicken stock. Man, I love me some chicken stock. There we go. Just like that there. Ooh. Just a little bit of white onion. That's all. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. Makes it all good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a bowl and we're going to cook this in its own juices and love. And while that's cooking down, we're going to be checking on our black eyed peas, southern smoked ham hocks. We're going to be pulling the Justin Wilson chicken I don't know out of the oven and get our rice over here. And man, we're going to pull a chair up to the table because it's time to eat. Our chicken I don't know is done. And I tell you what, woo wee, it's delicious. Look at that all bagged up and browned up and seasoned up. Man, this is good stuff. Like I said before, Justin Wilson named it right because I don't think anyone could name it more properly because you can't put a name on something this delicious here. I got the juice from the bag. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit on the front top there. Man, that is good stuff. Our smoky southern ham hocks are done with the black-eyed peas. Let's check on these here. Mmm. Whoo. Mama. I'm coming home. Look at that. Oh, let's get one of these bad boys out. Look at these ham hocks. Look, look how they, mm, look at that. Woo, put one right over there. Mm, nice little piece of ham hock right there in the middle. Southern Mill is never complete with a few slices of red tomatoes. Just like that. Man, this is Southern. This is Cajun. This is good. We got our chicken I don't know with our basic rice, our smoked ham hocks and black eyed peas. Man, this reminds me of home. All I can say is from the bayou to the Big Apple. Keep cooking, America. No. This is so fine. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's real fine. Cajun in the City is sponsored by the Eileen S. Kaminsky Family Foundation. Billsvoices.com. Slap your mama Cajun product. EB and Pent Law Studios LLC. With special thanks to the following.